Alright, now here's the questions on uh, refractions at a spherical surface. Yeah? Um, okay, let us read this question together. The end of a cylindrical glass rod is ground to become a hemispherical surface of radius 20 cm. Okay? Uh, the refractive index of glass is 1.5. A point object on the axis is at a distance of 60 cm from the vertex. Okay, find the image distance, find the linear magnification, and state the characteristics of the image form. Okay, so first of all, we must picture out uh, what is actually described in the questions. Here he says it is a cylindrical glass rod. Yeah? Um, okay, it is a glass rod, cylindrical, and become a hemispherical surface, uh, just one surface. Lah. Uh, one it is actually just uh, considered only a spherical. That means only one uh, spherical, hemispherical surface. Hemispherical means heavy, hemispherical means uh, half of a sphere. Uh, hemispherical, that means half of a sphere. Means uh, just half of the sphere. Lah. Uh, like that. Lah. Okay. Uh, hemispherical. If spherical means uh, one sphere. If hemispherical means half of a sphere. Half of a sphere surface of radius. Uh, this is the radius. 20 cm. Reflective index of glass. Uh, this is the uh, reflective index of the glass itself. So he's uh, then an object is at a distance of uh, 60 cm from the vertex. Vertex means the uh, the center. I mean the the center of the uh, surface glass. Yeah. Uh, this 60 cm is uh, pointing to this object. So uh, this 60 cm is the u lah, uh, object distance. Okay, uh, this is how we identify. And then find the image distance, that means B, we need to find. Linear magnification, M. And find the characteristics of the image. So, uh, okay. So overall, uh, uh, this picture is not given, but I draw for you. Uh, this is what I imagine. Uh, for, so it's important for us uh, to draw whatever we imagine into a picture form so that it's uh, easy for us to solve the questions. Yeah? So it is a glass rod. That means it's a, a very a glass, a rod, a glass or rod. But the end of the glass rod is a hemispherical surface, just like this, lah. Huh? Hemispherical means half a sphere, uh, one surface only. We just consider only one surface, okay? Uh, and this radius of this hemispherical surface is twenty cm. So I already convert to uh, divide by hundred. I get uh, zero point two meter. Uh, and then this is the refractive index of the glass itself. Okay, uh, end glass is 1.5. And the point object at the distance 60 cm. Uh, so object, uh, yeah, a fat, uh, sumo, sumo wrestler over here. <laughs> okay, uh, so this is the object. Lah. Uh, this is the object. I don't like to put just arrow. I like to draw an object. Yeah, seems more. Okay, so uh, this object is 60 cm from the glass surface, uh, so uh, which is u equal to uh, 0 0.6 meter. Uh, so this is the u, lah. Okay, this is the draw for u. Yeah, this is the uh, object distance u equal to. Uh, so you see, uh, still remember, uh, I uh, object distance, object distance compared with incident ray. Uh, see, I should. Um, this summary, uh, I sign convention again. Okay, remember that that one object distance. Okay, uh, no, no, for this one. Ah, uh, yeah, refraction at the spherical surface. So object distance always compare with incident ray. If same side, then it's positive. Opposite, then negative. Ah, uh, the rest like image distance, radius, or compare with refracted ray. Yeah, I can uh. Just uh, copy this again and then, yeah, this and so so that for uh, easier for us to refer. Uh, okay, let's put here. Yeah, just put here. Easy for us to refer. Ah, uh, okay. Remember? Ah, uh, so uh, this object, ah, uh, uh, object distance need to compare with incident ray. Yeah, compare with incident ray. So if same side is positive. So is this object object same side with incident ray? 
Uh, so first of all, uh, remember you must first draw the incident ray and refracted ray. This is a glass. A glass that means the light can enter, can pass through. This surface, this hemispherical surface is not a mirror. Mirror, the light uh, uh, can be reflected. This one is refraction, remember. This is refraction. Uh, not reflection. Not the reflection. Uh. Reflection means light cannot enter. Uh, uh, remember, uh, the, the refraction means the light can enter. So, I always, this is my priority. This is my priority. First thing you need to draw the incident reflected ray. Uh, then, second step only you compare to get the, uh, to get the positive and negative sign. Okay? So, first thing you must draw first the incident ray and refracted ray. Once you have the incident ray and refracted ray, uh, then uh, we can, uh, all the object distance, image distance and radius, all, the, all this UVR, we can easily compare with this incident ray and refracted ray to know whether it is positive or negative. So, it's very important for us to first draw the incident ray and refracted ray first. That's our first step. Okay? So, now uh, let's look at, look back, look, look, back, uh, look back at these questions. So, okay, uh, this object distance, we should put positive or negative. Uh, of course, this object distance is same side as the incident ray. Same side, we put positive. Uh, so, it is positive. Okay, uh, and then it is uh, 60 cm, that means 0 0.6 meter. Lah. Huh? Okay, we uh, put like that. So, it is uh, 0 0.6 meter over here. Right, now... Um, and then, how about the radius? Uh, given the radius of the hemispherical surface, uh, this radius should be positive or negative? Uh, remember? Uh, remember what you have learned? Radius we compare. Only the object, only the object we compare with incident ray. The rest like image distance and radius compare with refracted ray. So if same side, if this image distance and radius, same side as the refracted ray, that means it's positive. Opposite side negative. Okay, so remember the radius compared with refracted ray. Uh, so you must draw the incident ray and refracted ray first. Then only you can compare. If you don't draw, if you don't draw this incident ray and refracted ray, you cannot compare. Okay. Now uh, these uh, radius. Uh, see, look at the radius is at which side? Is it uh, same side as incident ray or same side as the refracted ray? Just look at the shape. Uh, the shape of the sphere is this way. The shape of the sphere is this way, isn't it? Uh, this way, that means the radius is uh, this way. Lah. Uh, the radius is over here. Same side as the refracted ray. Uh, this radius, radius is... So, you, do you think it's uh, same side with refracted ray or opposite side? Uh, same side, because the sphere is this... Uh, uh, the sphere is this direction. Uh, so, the radius, of course, is over here. Yeah, not, not over the, the other side. Huh? So the radius is over here. So it is this radius is same side as the refracted ray. That's why we put it as positive. Ah, very easy. No need to remember it is a convex surface must be positive, concave surface must be negative. No need. My method is just depend on drawing only. Depend on drawing and then you just compare to get positive or negative. So my radius is same side as refracted ray. So it is positive. Lah. So it is positive. Uh, 0 0.2 meter or 20 cm. Okay, so that is um, 0 0.2 meter. Okay, 0 0.2 meter. Positive 0 0.2 is the radius is positive because same side as refracted ray. Okay, now uh, and then okay, how about the refracting index N1 and N2? What is it? Uh, N1 means it's a refracting index for the incident ray. Uh, N2 is the refracting index for refracted ray. Uh, so, uh, that's how we determine. Uh, so, just put like that. Uh, yeah, like that. So, N1 is where is the incident ray. N2 is where is the refracted ray. Uh, or we can say, uh, the light, the light goes from, okay, the light goes from N1 to N2. Uh, the light goes from, I need, uh, the light goes from N1 to N2. Uh, the light. 
the light goes from N1 to N2. That's how is it, yeah? Or incident ray, yeah? N1 is where is the incident ray, N2 is where is the refracted ray. Okay? Uh, so N1 is, of course, is air. Uh, just put the value as it is number equal to 1 because it is air. Uh, and then N2 is equal to uh, 1.5. Yeah? N2 is equal to 1.5 because it is plus. That's it. Yeah? Now, uh, just substitute all the value and then we can calculate. Yeah? So N1 is 1 and then uh, U is um, uh, uh, positive 0 0.6. You not really have to put the positive sign, but I just want to clarify the sign that. Uh, and then N2 is uh, 1.5, 1.5, and then this image distance is what we want to find, and then this is uh, 1.5 minus 1, 1.5 minus 1, and then divide by uh, positive 0 0.2 for the radius. Uh, so we can calculate the image, image distance, so what do we get for image distance? Uh, we get it is um, uh, 1.8 uh, positive, we got Positive uh, 1.8 meter. Positive 1.8 meter. Uh, positive 1.8 meter. So what does it mean? Uh, what, e what kind of image do we get? Uh, what, what is mean by this positive sign? Yeah, This positive sign, it means that it is a real image. Uh, we got a real image. Positive means, is, positive V means it's a real image. And it, it happens at... It is uh, happen at same side, uh, same side with the refracted ray. It is same side as a refracted ray because it's B positive. So that means where, where do you think is the image? Uh, and then one more thing, uh, real image must be inverted. Uh, real image must be inverted. Uh, so um, that means uh, this, where, where, where do you think is the image form? Is it? This image is it form uh, opposite to refracted ray over here, or is it happen at same side as refracted ray? Of course, it's over here. Uh, so and it is inverted. So how do we draw? We should draw like that. Uh, that means the image is here, full line. It's a full line because it's a real image. The real image form and it is inverted. Uh, and then we got the v is uh, v is a uh, equal to positive, uh, this V is equal to positive 1.8 meter, yeah? Wait, uh. Okay, uh, positive 1.8 meter. Why, why V is positive? Why the V is positive? Because it is uh, same side as refracted ray uh, at the place this image got light, uh, we can say uh, it, uh, it, why is it real? Because it got light. It got the reflected light, you know? It got the refracted light. That means if we put a, if we put a screen over here, if we put a screen over here, uh, it, you can, it can form on screen. Uh, yeah? Because got light. Uh, can form on screen. Uh, this image can form on screen. And it, this, the image form is inverted. Uh, yeah? Because the, there is a refracted light. Uh, the refracted light fall onto the screen to form a real image there. Yeah, this V is positive because same side as the refracted ray. Yeah, this uh, image is formed same side as the refracted ray. Yeah, it, this image is formed at the at the place where it got light. Okay, uh, that's what it means. So, um, uh, what you can see is an inverted sumo wrestler lah. Inverted sumo wrestler over here. Now, how about the linear magnification? Uh, let's find out the linear magnification. That's a formula. Magnification equal to negative V over U. It is also equal to uh, HI over HO, height of image over height of object. But uh, as we can see in the question, the height of object is not given. Height of image also cannot find. Uh, so uh, we, we just can use the other formula, which is M equal to negative V over U. Remember, this uh, formula has a negative for uh, if you use V over U, must have a negative sign. Don't forget the negative sign. Okay? Now, uh, let's find out the magnification. We have the V already. We have the U. Okay? Uh, let's find out. Uh, so, uh, what's the answer? 
negative V. V is a uh, positive 1.8. Yeah, uh, positive 1.8 divided by U. What is the U? U is a positive 0 0.6. Positive 0 0.6. So what do we get? We get it is a negative. Negative. Uh, what's the answer? Uh, negative, if we divide, we get negative 3. Get negative 3. So, again, this, what is mean by this negative? Uh, so, what does it mean by this negative? Is it mean diminish? Is it mean diminish? No, this negative means it is inverted. Uh, this negative M. Negative M means it's inverted. And then, how about this um, 3? 3, this 3 value. This three value means it's more than one. More than one means it is magnified. Uh, it is magnified. That's not, not. This image is uh, this image is inverted magnified. Uh, okay. So that's why uh, I draw the image. My object is uh, my object is only this big. My object is only this this big. Yeah, only this big. But my image is bigger uh, because it's magnified, inverted. So what is the final question? State the characteristics of the image form. A characteristic of this image is real. I can say is uh, real, real because uh, V positive. V positive, that's why it's real. And real always is always inverted because we know that about the re uh, about the reboot things. We remember the reboot. Okay, a uh, real image must be real image must be inverted. Virtual image must be upright. Okay, uh, we know real image must be inverted. Okay, uh, it's inverted. And also, uh, from, from the magnification, we already proved that it is uh, m equal to negative. Uh, m equal to negative, so it's inverted. Uh, and then, uh, this value is uh, 3, more than 1. It's not like 0 0.3, less than 1. This is 3, more than 1, means it's magnified. Ah, okay, so we can say uh, the image is... Uh, what we, the, the characteristic of the image is a uh, rim. Uh, rim. What does it mean by rim? But you don't write rim lah. You don't write rim. Please write the please write the proper words. Uh, it is real. The image is the uh, rim image. Uh, is real inverted uh, magnified. Uh, real inverted magnified image. Uh, right, full full words lah. Yeah, uh, the the re is real because it's V positive, inverted because M negative, uh, and then uh, magnified because the value of the uh, the modulus for M is more than one. The value of M more than one. So that's the image characteristics. Okay, rim. Uh, so okay, let's move on to the second question.